The New Regimen for Treatment of Drug-Resistant Tuberculosis Combination of Bedaquiline, Pretamanid, and Linezolid, Bupol, is currently approved to treat drug-resistant tuberculosis disease. Key Points About Pol FDA approved the use of Pretamanid 200 mg in combination with Bedaquiline, Linezolid, Bupol, in August 2019. CDC recommends the use of Pretamina 200 mg daily for 26 weeks in the treatment of adults with pulmonary extensively drug-resistant XDR and pre-extensively drug-resistant pre-XDR. Pretamina uses can be extended to 9 months, 39 weeks, within the pull regimen based on delayed treatment response within the first 8 weeks. It is approved for the treatment of pulmonary TB only, and not yet approved for the treatment of extrapulmonary TB. It is not indicated for use alone and has not been approved for use in combination with other anti-TB medications not included in the full regimen. Administration pull is taken with food. Predominant is available in 200 mg tablets and is swallowed whole with water. Persons with HIV the full regimen can be used in patients living with HIV diagnosed with pre-XDR, XDR, or T-slash-near-MDR-TB disease. Pregnant persons and children pretamine at 200 mg within the pull regimen does not have an approved indication for use in pregnant persons or children. Dosing pretamine at 200 mg administered orally once daily for 26 week. Bedaquiline 400 mg administered orally once daily for 2 weeks, followed by 200 mg administered orally 3 times weekly. Linezolid starting at 1200 mg orally per day for 26 weeks, with dose adjustments to 600 mg daily and further reduction to 300 mg daily. Administration pull is taken with food. It's available in 200 mg tablets and is swallowed whole with water. Adverse Effects Hepatotoxicity aspartate aminotransferase, alanine aminotransferase, bilirubin, and alkaline phosphatase should be monitored at baseline, 2 weeks, monthly. An increase of serum aminotransferases to more than three times the upper limit of normal should be followed by repeat testing within 48 hours. Discoinwatin of Predomina 1. Serum aminotransferase elevations are accompanied by total bilirubin elevation greater than two times all. 2. Serum aminotransferase elevations are more than eight times the upper limit of normal 3. Serum aminotransferase elevations persist beyond 2 weeks. Cardiac toxicity Persons receiving the full regimen should be monitored closely for signs of cardiac toxicity, evidence of QT prolongation. Repeated electrocardiograms at baseline and at 2, 12, and 24 weeks after initiation of treatment. Discontinuation of Bedaquiline 1. Clinically significant ventricular arrhythmia. 2. QTCF of greater than 500 milliseconds, confirmed by repeat ic. Optic and peripheral neuropathy. Neuropathy was the most common adverse event reported with the use of the full regimen.